Infectious disease experts are raising the red flag over a dangerous and potentially deadly new germ. Just years ago, MRSA was virtually unheard of in L.A. County. Now, a new strain of MRSA has emerged and exploded across the Southland. One local doctor on the front lines of this fight says the bugs may be winning. Eyewitness News reporter Giovanna Lara has that story. To the untrained eye, they look harmless enough, but it was a brush with a nasty bug just like this that nearly cost Dee Dee Wallace her life. It was a boil about the size of a quarter on my backside. But soon it had eaten away a huge chunk of her leg. These pictures were taken after a skin graft closed a hole that was 19 centimeters around. Doctors gave Dee Dee the grim news her skin infection had developed into necrotizing fasciitis, better known as the flesh-eating disease. He goes, you're definitely going to have plastic surgery. I have to remove a huge part of your knee. You might lose your leg. You might lose your life. We've noticed it a lot more in L.A. and the rest of the country. Medical and epidemiologist uh, Dr. Elizabeth appended. Bancroft is tracking MRSA's widespread emergence in L.A. County. Most of the time, it just causes a skin or soft tissue infection. That can be dangerous enough, even deadly. Ricky Linetti, a Pennsylvania college football player, had just led his team to victory when he suddenly came down with flu-like symptoms. He was dead within 24 hours. I mean, these are basically young, healthy, extremely well-conditioned people. MRSA is, in fact, a growing menace in locker rooms across the country, including here in Southern California. An outbreak on the USC football team sent four players to the hospital in the summer of 2003. That same year, the Centers for Disease Control documented eight MRSA cases among the St. Louis Rams and seven cases among the Miami Dolphins. MRSA seems to fester where there's heat, shared towels or equipment. Gyms and community pools can be a potent breeding ground for the insidious bacteria. It was essentially a non-problem five years ago and now is a huge problem. It's all over Southern California. Dr. Lauren Miller is an investigator at Harbor UCLA Medical Center and L.A. Biomed. He tracked an alarming trend among the growing number of L.A. area patients with community-acquired MRSA, documenting 14 cases in L.A. where it developed into the flesh-eating disease. Some patients had the infection basically progress s several inches an hour, basically in front of the physician's eyes. What's even more frightening, no one knows exactly how or why MRSA morphs into the disfiguring and life-threatening disease in some people. When it crosses over to being flesh-eating status is really when the immune system of the person breaks down and it's able to get deep down into the flesh beyond just the skin. Because community-acquired MRSA is unfazed by first-line antibiotics, the L.A. County Department of Health wants to get the word out so doctors can spot and correctly treat this superbug without the continued overuse of antibiotics. The last thing we want is for this bug to get even more resistant than it is. But for Dee Dee, the awareness comes too late. What the heck am I going to do if I get it again and I become resistant to everything they possibly have out there? If I get it back, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's, what's going to stop it. Giovanna Lada, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, earthquakes could level entire neighborhoods in just minutes and can cause millions.